Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd to October 8th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate for everybody as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. This is a general reading and parts of it may resonate with you and then the other part may not. So we will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three decks. Alright Virgo, this is intended to be a love reading. Um, the basis of your reading, reading is the Five of Wands. That tells me that you're having some strife right now this week. I mean, things might be a little chaotic. You might be feeling like um, there's been some disagreements, okay? I think things aren't going as well as you would hope. You may feel like you need to retreat or hide away, that there's just too much going on at right, that right now. I think there's a big, huge heaviness in your life, and I think that it's, it's pretty, it might be a little crazy, all right? You're probably thinking about moving to a more peaceful spot. I think that you have a lot of inner beauty and a lot of inner strength and wisdom, and a lot of you are contemplating moving, all right? I think you're about to have a wake-up call or an awakening, or you already have had it. And you have decided that you are going to get unstuck from a situation that you were not happy in, okay? We have the Five of Swords right next to that Five of Wands. That tells me that there's a lot of, um, maybe you're feeling defeated. You know, maybe you're just feeling like um, there's a lot of conflict right now. I think there's some changes going on in your life. And I think that you're just having a lot of strife at this time. There's no doubt about it. There's some tension. There's some tension going on. Could have to do with your love life, all right? Um, there could be a new a new love, though. I mean, there could be for some of you because I see a new love. It's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But I, I, or it could be a Leo, but I tend to think that the... Strife in the conflict is with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You know, it could be with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Because we have the, the Earth sign right here and the Water sign right here. And that's where the strife and the disagreements and the conflicts lie, okay? But you're stuck in a situation, maybe with one of these people. Now, these are men or women. You're stuck in a situation and... Um, I think that, you know, you're thinking about freeing yourself because that's a false imprisonment up there. You're thinking about freeing yourself in the name of love, okay? So maybe you have a choice between two people, all right? Okay, so one of them moves very slowly and is very grounded and calm and patient and practical. And the other is more alluring, um, uh, emotional, uh kinder a little bit kinder a little bit more sexy um just very uh almost like mysterious okay so i think that you you know you might have a choice between two people i do see that there's definitely there's an attraction here so i think that you have you may be stuck to one because in but there's attraction to another or somebody's attracted to you all right there's fear of the unknown here with the moon card, all right? I think you're pretty scared of, or some of you are scared of the unknown. Um, there could be something going on behind the scenes, or you have this big fear that something's going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, and it could be with either of these people. Um, but I do see that you are about to have a breakthrough, and, it, and it's a good thing because this breakthrough, this wake-up call is going to 
add to your vibrancy. It is, and it's gonna help you to release this 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 wake up call. This this sword is the wake up call. It's also the cord that cuts through the bullshit. It cuts the cord. It cuts out what no longer serves you. Okay, and this Ten of Wands up here is letting go of the burden, letting go of the load, just letting it go. And take and after you let it go, you take you take the time you need to recuperate. All right, to rest and and get your beauty back. All right, so some of you could be thinking about moving or actually moving. All right. Um, there's just but there's a lot of tension this week that's what i see but there's also some attraction here and i think the tension is over this attraction that you have that could fulfill your wishes i mean it's hard to explain but i think you have bigger wishes to be fulfilled and you have love that you want to you want to head in the direction of love Okay. Your heart lies in love. That's what I see. You're you 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 want to head in that direction. Something you're passionate about. Um I do see a new a new beginning in love, okay? So it could be a resurgence of a relationship or it could be somebody new altogether. Now we do have Pisces a cup three times and we have Cancer and Scorpio two times. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is pretty prominent here um, in your reading. We're going to get the next deck. You could have very vivid dreams at this time, so definitely pay attention to your dreams if you can even write them down when you wake up. They are trying to tell you something. The moon in the Ace of Cups says that you could be having very vivid dreams, and those dreams could be trying to tell you something. That page of cups is news of a new relationship. So right next to that ace of cups, that's a new welling of emotion. You know, so, and those are right next to that water sign. So this, there's a good chance that you have a, a attraction or a fondness for a water sign or they do for you or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. But there's conflict and I think the conflict lies with the earth sign. Um, and this doesn't have to be a partner. I mean, it could be somebody from work, could be a mother, could be a father, could be a child, it could be anybody. Somebody um, who moves very slow. You may be thinking about somebody from the past, somebody from your childhood or somebody you've dated from the past. All right, could be a Leo even. This right here, the Three of Pentacles, this is also angelic messages, messages from your angels. But um, it's also about work and communication and collaboration and working together. I see that there's strife here and there's conflict here with this person. This is saying that, yes, you're going to have to work together. You are. You're going to have to collaborate and compromise, okay? Ten of Wands. You have this one twice. You must let something go. And this is over this new love. Like I said, I think there might be, you might have to leave one person behind to fulfill your your dreams with and your wishes with somebody else. This is that's what this is, okay? Because you can't you can't keep pretending. This says the Lord of Oppression. You can't keep holding on to something that no longer serves you. Alright? The basis of your reading is conflict and tension. All right? That's what this week is about. But this is saying that you just just work as a team as best as you can. Collaborate, compromise. The chariot says that you will be victorious. Now, a lot of you will are definitely thinking about moving or traveling or looking for a new home putting yourself in the driver's seat, so, or your home life is changing. Maybe um, somebody's moving out. Something is happening where somebody is moving or looking to move, okay? Um, I got to keep going.
I see you being very successful, harmonious, all right? It looks like you, um, you have the strength to get through this. You have the wisdom, all right? You do. You have the confidence. All you need to do now is pull up the courage, okay? You have to pull up the courage to do what the right thing for you, all right? That's that's a big deal, okay? And I see that you are. A lot of you are. I think that you guys are using your inner strength to get through this. I think it's not an easy week. I think this week there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of tension. There's disagreements. Um, but I see that you are going to be triumphant in the end. I see that this is a major life change for you. This week something is happening that is going that is life changing, all right? Um, I think you're letting go of something to bring back harmony and peace to your life. You're looking for harmony and peace. And I think that something is changing if, if that will enable this to come in. It is going to be successful. You are going to be successful. So this conflict and strife that's going on this week is, is just very, you know, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay because you have the strength to get through it. All right? You have what it takes to get through it. This is saying move forward. Don't don't quit now. All right? You're, you're so close. All right? Again, now you have mastering your emotions twice here with this. Well, actually three times because you have strength t twice. The chariot and strength about mastering your emotions. That is a big deal for this week. I can see the conflict. I can see the disagreements. I can see the strife. I can see the petty arguments. Almost like a competition. It's just like, this is ridiculous. I don't even want to deal with this shit anymore. I'm just about done with it. And you're just going to have to be the master of your emotions this week. Keep yourself restrained. And I think you're going to because you want to keep the harmony and the peace. But many of you are in the process of moving or, or thinking about moving or somebody is moving out of your home. Okay? Because you are taking the lead. You're putting yourself in the driver's seat and you're not going to just sit back and watch things or let things um, go nowhere. All right. I see you letting go of something that's been holding you back. And when you do, new love is right there. When you let go, this is holding you back, this is holding you back. And when you do, and you're going to do it pretty quickly. I think you're moving forward, and you have been moving forward. And this week, you're really moving, okay? Once you do, we have this welling of emotion underneath it. And this could be a resurgence of a relationship you're already in. But in many cases with these two cards, it's a new love. But I see that you have a fear of the unknown. You know, a fear of... What's going to happen next? Or am I making the right decision? But it looks very successful. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. I'm not sure if you guys have had this one before or not. Focus on love. Seems like I get this card an awful lot. Must be a big thing these days. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. It is easy it is easy to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of the people in your life. Remember the things that caused you to love them in the first place. Focusing on the love will change and heal the negativity that was once there. Interesting. So Virgo, this is for the week of October 2nd to October 8th. Looks like a lot of you are thinking about moving or actually moving or moving on from a situation. Somebody could be moving out. I think you're putting yourself in the driver's seat. You are moving forward. You're not sitting back waiting for nothing to happen. You're taking, you're taking a stand. You're letting something go that has been holding you back and you're doing that in the name of love. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a child, it could be a job. A lot of people love their job. So however it resonates with you. Either way, this whole lineup right here is pretty good. It leads to your wishes being fulfilled. Okay, it will lead to your wishes being fulfilled. 
You just have to get through the conflicts, the disagreements, the tension, the strife and that is going to happen this week. Okay? Not saying it's not going to happen next week because we haven't done next week's reading. But this week, it's pretty prominent. Try to, try to combat it with love. Even if you still are going to move forward, combat it with love. Talk to you later, Virgo.